All right, Team JMA, we are back for lesson two of semester one, and we're going to be covering one of the most exciting and one of the most uh, just fundamentally essential lessons to your success, and that is building your brand and your business. You cannot be successful as a real estate investor. You cannot follow my blueprint. You cannot do real estate the J way if you do not have a strong brand and a legitimate business. So when I go to my first bullet point here, you see be legit and be a boss. So I want you guys to understand that once you form your business, it makes you a legitimate businessman or businesswoman. It makes you a boss. It makes you the CEO, the founder of your organization. You have now created a job for yourself and soon you create jobs for others, for contractors, for employees, for assistants. Like you are really stepping up into the playing field and for those of you who have never been a business owner, after this lesson, when you follow these steps, you are about to become a business owner. This is, you're on your way to being a mogul. And this is where it all starts. But you have to do it the right way. You have to be legitimate. So there's different ways for you to actually start a company. Um, you can start a company through a sole proprietorship. You can start a company through an LLC, through an S-Corp, through a C-Corp. And those are things that you can consult with an attorney or accountant about. Um, but from your mentor's perspective, one of the most successful ways I've created businesses and the ones that I'm typically advised on by all my advisors. So you can take my $475 an hour accountant and my $400 an hour attorney, take their advice through me for your $97 for the course and form an LLC. Form an LLC and that should be the way that you want to start your business typically, right? So through an LLC, you could do that through uh, websites, LegalZoom, or you could just do it through your state, uh, .gov, and you can do it. A lot of times it's cheaper, you know, avoid paying fees, or you can have an attorney do it for you, right? So no matter how you start it, form an LLC, form a business, form an S-Corp, C-Corp, whatever your best advice, whatever you want to do, but I'm just giving you my opinion, form an LLC and become your own boss, and also become legitimate as a business owner. This is the first step to building your brand, building and starting your real estate investment career. Uh, secondly, is building your team, and just not any team, but your professional team. All of you guys, I'm, I, I gave you documents in the academy on what I give my high paying coaching clients. You guys get the same information on what kind of team to build. You guys should all have three to five attorneys, accountants, realtors, mortgage professionals, contractors, inspectors, homeowner, homeowner insurance agents, title agents or closing agents, you should have all those people in your phone, in your Rolodex, in your contacts. You should have at least three to five of all those people and anything else that I'm missing. Um, especially though, you want to form a good relationship with an attorney because as you get into facilitating high level business and generating revenue for yourself you're, and, and having contracts and assignment contracts and, and, and addendums and amendments, that's stuff that you don't want to do your own. I do not advise you to do legal work on your own. What I am teaching you guys to do is one of, my, one of my favorite sayings, and I'll block it off here. I'm teaching you guys to be experts, 